Hi, my name is Walton, and I work in publishing, and I have just discovered the coolest trick in the world if you have a document that has a lot of tables, and you want to change all the information in those tables all at once. So, instead of going through each individual table and clicking on it and changing things, you want to just select them all and do it at once. Um, I got this from a website that also has the code, I didn't write this or invent this trick, I'm just showing it off. Um, and I'll include that website so you can get this code too. So press Alt, F11, um, and then Insert Module. Now this is opening up a macro written in code that is called, I think, VBA, Visual Basic for Applications. Um, and I'm going to paste that code I found in there and it just basically says to select all the tables um, and when I press F5 and then go back to my document all the tables are selected and now I can do all sorts of cool things with them I can go to table properties um, this is initially what I was doing because I had um, a document from Google Docs and I needed to change all the tables. There's always like one table that doesn't do it, I've got to admit. Um, but see, so all the tables are, but except for that one table that I probably unselected by accident is probably what happened. All the tables are now 75% and centered. Um, and I've even done this with them. Um, I really don't want that anymore. I wanted them 100%. Uh, but maybe I want to add some shading. Okay. This resets. So just double check that. Okay, and now they're all 100%, but they're all shaded orange. Amazing. And I'm going to try this right here with you right now. Can I change the font size? Because the fonts in those tables is much smaller. Yes, I can. Yes, you can. So that is just a huge time saving tip if you've got a dock with lots of tables in it. Select them all change them all and I'm gonna put the link to the website so they get all the credit um, and also with that code you can cut and paste um, oh but just one thing to note when you save it it's going to say it can't be saved in a macro free document so your word is probably set to save without a macro without that code that's fine um, macros are something that you know can be can have get bugs in them and stuff so you can always redo it. So I, I advise just save it macro free without that code and then you can always just reuse that code later. Alright. And I'm not going to say it. So there you go. Uh, in using good health.